Welcome to EuroPCR and welcome to the uh, PCR LV Medica session. My name is Stefan Verhey from Antwerp, cardiovascular center in Antwerp, Belgium. And I have the pleasure to be joined today with the LV Medica session with uh, Professor Colombo from uh, Italy and Professor Sardella from Italy as well. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. So today we are going to discuss the, uh, the CREATE stand, the CREATE, which is a uh, unique polymer-free drug-eluting stand that has a unique amphilimus formulation with an abluminal release of the, uh, of the drug, the substance, that is seen to be very um, associated with good results in diabetic population. Diabetes is a huge problem these days with almost 390 million prevalence of uh, diabetes and it is expected to increase with another 200 million people with diabetes in uh, 20 years from now. So it's a serious problem. So therefore now I would like to uh, ask a question to uh, Dr. Colombo. You have a huge experience in uh, testing many drug eluding stents in several uh, populations and a lot of them have failed in a diabetic population. So in your opinion, what are the required expectations for a drug eluding stent in such a challenging population? That is not uh, easy for a new stent uh, to deliver uh, good result in diabetics. As you said, in the last uh, 10 years, uh, uh, almost all uh, uh, drug eluting stents, uh, even uh, the second and the third generation, have failed and nobody is really doing a dedicated trial in diabetics because they know that such a device does not exist or may not exist because maybe it will exist. The most well conducted study is a freedom study where we have five years follow up and in that study at two years uh, we have uh, over 12% uh, target uh, lesion uh, revascularization, over 6% mortality. So it's not a uh, single digit, uh, it's a double digit and even more. And was a relatively selected population in the freedom. So the problem is definitely there and we need, uh, we need a device uh, able, uh, I wouldn't say to solve, uh, but to, to ameliorate uh, this problem. And what are the items or the features that could contribute to that for such a specific device? I, I don't want to go into some hypothesis, but we need some device able to deliver the drug inside the diabetic cell. And we know that is not just increasing the dosage of the drug, because you may remember CIFER study was done in double dose, it's so-called 2D, double dose in diabetics, and even doubling the dose was not effective. So the problem is to get the drug in the cell. I understand, yeah. Dr. Sardella, you have uh, shown wonderful results in your presentation uh, on the CREATE and diabetic Congratulations with uh, those beautiful results. And it looks like this is almost independent from the type of diabetes. So how can you explain that uh, this device uh, is, is, is doing so well, whereas other ones have actually failed? This is central. I think that in the CREATE that was presented from Alvi Medica, there are three distinctive features. That is a very innovative uh, device because it has an uh, abluminal reservoir technology the amphilimus formulation and the bioinducer surface. But the, real, the really innovative section in the amphilimus formulation, that is sirolimus plus fatty acids, that make a combined effect on the diabetic cells. Because we know that the diabetic cells is a modified cell, and it needs an overexpression on the membrane protein that allows the fatty acids to intake the sirolimus. And for this reason, I think that the, the real good results uh, about the, uh, the studies, it was the participant study the, with the study pr uh, primary endpoint was the MACE, uh, six months and uh, uh, with diabetics and overall population. And they showed a, a great result in terms of TLR. And moreover, uh, Romaguera last year in PCR, he presented a reservoir study. The reservoir is a randomized study create versus uh, X-Science family, and they showed a late lumen loss in diabetic patients of just 0 
and we know that the late, late lumen loss in the real Achilles wheel of the diabetic patients versus 0.24. But what is it's important is the standard deviation, that it was very tight in the, uh, in the create, that it was 0.24, and it's very large, it's 0.57 in, uh, uh, in the other group. And in our study that you mentioned before, the investigate, we observed the same results in diabetic and non-diabetic. Thus, the, in our study, create, um, shorten the difference in terms of outcome between these two very different groups of patients. Yeah, that's wonderful. Dr. Colombo, based on these results and knowing that diabetes is an extremely challenging population, would you be satisfied with this, uh, this number of, of results and, and trials that have been done so far? And is that convincing enough to take it into daily practice? Or would you recommend to, to see more vast amount of data to convince to the community? And if so, what would you recommend to take place for other people to convince? But uh, these, uh, these results uh, gave us uh, the support uh, to do the, what I call the ultimate study the CREATE diabetes study uh, to prove uh, in an evidence-based fashion that uh, this device is not non-inferior but is superior to current best uh, drug eluting stent. And here is a, a diabetes, diabetes, uh, diabetes with CREATE, it's a very nice uh, combination. Uh, randomized study over 2,000 patients, uh, randomized one-to-one, -one, create versus Everolimus saluting stent uh, with a target lesion uh, failure at one year as the primary endpoint with uh, the idea to demonstrate uh, superiority. And I'm very pleased because uh, as, as important uh, uh, as it can be a study of non-inferiority, we need to start entering the field of superiority. And uh, Alvi Medica and CID should be congratulated for taking this, uh, this risky step, because every time you put yourself into a study of superiority, it's risky. But uh, the preliminary data uh, acquired in the last few years are very encouraging. So I, I think it's a risk worth taking. That is wonderful. So as a conclusion, thank you very much, gentlemen, for this uh, interview. You. This was a wonderful contribution. And to wrap up, uh, I just want to thank the, uh, Dr. Colombo and Dr. Sardello for this uh, interview. We know that diabetes is a difficult population to handle and to tackle and to treat. But it looks like, based on what we have seen from the CREATE uh, data, that we have a specific uh, dedicated stent to target this population and we are very much looking forward to the new trial that is being announced where we have uh, hopefully will get the results next year thank you very much thank, thank you, you gentlemen thank you